see. And we've got Ruckus here, one of my puppies. He's eight weeks old and he is learning how to walk on the leash before he goes to his new home. So we broke out our awesome colored mezzanine leashes that have the limited slip. So they're not choke collars, they're very soft. And uh, we're gonna start working on our leash work. Very new to an eight week old puppy. Uh, you'll see how I use cheese and how I use positive reinforcement. The idea is not to scare them, but to tell, to kind of give some communication with the leash. So eight week old puppies, this is how we start our leash training is I'll put Ruckus down. I want, I kind of hold him back here. I want to show him I have cheese. Rucky, Rucky. So now he knows I have cheese. Good boy. So now he knows he's got rewards. So we start walking. Let's go puppy. Come on, Rocky. So I'm not pulling him. I'm kind of letting him go. I'm gonna lure him with the cheese. Good boy, buddy. So if he goes that way, I'm gonna kind of give him some pressure. Rocky, good boy. He looks back at me. Rocky, good boy. He gets rewarded for coming back to me. Rocky, Rocky. Yeah, good boy, good boy. That's right. So we'll walk a little bit this way. Oh, Ruckus, come here, buddy. He's a little out of camera. I let go, the, the leash goes loose. The idea is to keep the leash loose. So he learns he gets rewarded to come back to me. So if he hits the end of the leash, Ruckus, I call his name. Yeah, good boy, Rocky. Good boy, come here, buddy. Ruckus, come here, buddy. So I'm gonna come up to him and help him a little bit because he's worried. Put the cheese in his nose. Good boy. Come on, Ruckus. Come on, buddy. Good boy, come on. Yeah. So he's a little worried about his litter mates over there. So I'm gonna pick him up. I don't wanna pull him with the leash. That's not the intent of this lesson. Bring him back over here. So I'm holding him right here so he can't really go very far. And we're just gonna feed cheese. Right here. Good boy. Ruckus, good boy. Good boy, yeah. Good boy, come here, buddy, yeah. So we're gonna keep our perimeter really small and he's just gonna get rewarded for coming back to me when he hits the end of the leash. Good boy. The whole idea is to set them up to succeed and not to let them fail. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. So I'm going to stand up. Give him a little bit of the lead. Yeah, good boy. He looks back at me. He gets a piece of food. So this teaches him when he hits the end of the leash to come back to me. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Yeah. So I'm just giving him a little bit of learning with this leash. So if he hits the end of it, Rocky, he gets a treat when he looks back at me. Rocky, good boy, yeah. And so that's all I'm gonna do because he's worried about his other litter mates. So I'm gonna go get another puppy and we'll do it another, we'll try it with another puppy. It's small, short lessons. I don't wanna do more than that. I don't wanna stress him out. I don't want him to hit the end of the lead and freak out and panic. It's all about keeping this positive and in his wheelhouse. We'll be right back with another puppy. So now I have Parley, Ruckus's brother. I show him I have cheese. So he's rewarded for coming with me. He's got tail wagging. He's like, oh, this is a fun game. So then we start walking a little bit and he's walking nicely with me. So I'm very happy with that. Good boy, good boy, yeah. You win when your dog doesn't know that they have a leash on them. So he hits the end of it, good boy. I praise him, he comes back to me. Good boy, Carly. Yeah! Let's go on a walk. Yeah! Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Notice I have a loose leash and he's walking nicely with me. He's walking nicely with me, I'm happy. Let's go, Carly. Yeah, good boy. So I'm just getting him used to the leash. It's not the idea that I want him pulling around and, and, and testing the leash. It's that he's getting used to me walking loosely on it and he's getting lots of good yummy cheese and rewarded for it. Come here, Parley. Good boy. Good boy. So this is leash training. It's 
this reinforcement of staying with me, it's not that I want to control his space with it as, as much as I want to teach him to stay with me. Hi, Yay, good boy. So you're teaching, walking on a loose leash, you're teaching stay with me, walk with me. Good boy. Let's go, Polly. Yeah. Very common for them to itch a lot when you put a leash on. He's been wearing a collar. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. He's doing a really good job. Good boy. Good boy. Great job, buddy. Finally. Yeah. So I change direction. I call him. I give him. I want to set him up for success. I don't use a leash to, be, to control them. I use it to communicate with them. So if he started going off one way, I'd pull him in. Pop, pop. Yeah! And if he puts the leash in his mouth, I give him a treat to get the leash out of his mouth. I don't want to encourage him holding the leash in his mouth. Some dogs do that and they don't destroy leashes, but I don't want him to chew my leash. Good sit. Good boy. Reward the behaviors you want. Ignore what you don't want. So if he comes to me, hi Lee. Oh, what a good puppy. So we'll try walking again. Good boy. Telling him he's a good boy for coming. What a good puppy. Good boy. Yeah, good boy, Parley. So it's just setting them up for success, getting them used to this, and then we're done. I'm gonna take the leash off of him and we're gonna call it a good day with the leash training and we'll get another puppy. And now we have Melee, Ruckus and Parley's sister. So I'm gonna put her down. I'm gonna show her I have cheese because they love their little string cheese. And I'm gonna show her I have string cheese, gonna give her a piece and say, let's go for a walk, Melee. Yeah, what a good puppy. Good girl. Good puppy. Good girl. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. What a good puppy. Yeah, see no one's barking, so these two are not super worried about their litter mates. Good puppy, good girl. You sit? Oh, good sit. Good sit. Sit. Good sit. Reinforcing good behavior. Let's go, Melee. Yeah, good girl. What a good girl. Good girl. Yes. Let's go in a little circle. So, come on, Melee. Oh, good boy. Yeah. So, the leash gave her a little tug. She went to go bite at it, and I told her, come here with cheese, so she understands that she's not to bite the leash, that it just told her to come where it's coming, come towards me. Come on, Melee, yeah! So I don't use the leash, I use my voice. So I'm not pulling her towards me with the leash, I'm asking her to do something, and if she doesn't do it, I might give a little bit of a, uh, just a tight, taut the leash, make it taut. Yeah, good girl, you like that cheese. So. That way it's just communicating. It's not guiding or directing. I'm communicating what I want her to do. Ready, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, good girl. Good girl, come on, Mayday. Yes. So we're walking on a leash. This is all I want of my eight week old puppy. Yeah, good girl, Mayday. Good girl. So this is all I ask for them is that they come with me when we have the leash on. Good girl. Hi everyone. I think they need to walk on the leash. All right, and now we have the last puppy. We have Frenzy. And remember guys, when you're training dogs, you're setting them up to succeed. You want them successful so they build on the good successes that you teach them. It's not about teaching them that the leash pulls them and they need to go where they need to go. They're learning to follow you and the leash helps ensure safety. But ideally we want these guys to walk loosely on a lead next to us. So it's not about keeping a ta taut leash or tight because then they'll learn that. So let's do this last little girl and see where she comes in. I gotta show her I have cheese. Frenzy. Oops, not so quick on my cheese. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Okay, let's go for a walk, friends. Good girl. I'm tough. Lots of reward with my voice. Good girl. Let's go for a walk. Yeah. Good girl. Turn. Turn. Yes. Good girl. So I'm teaching her just to walk with me and the leash is not scary. Yeah. Good 
Girl. She felt it a little bit there because she stopped. Yay! Good girl. So I'm telling her when she's a good girl and, and encouraging her to come forward. I'm not setting her up to fail. I'm setting her up to succeed. Let's go for a walk. Good girl. Yes. Yes. did she wanted to go over there the leash kind of just gave her a tug and she's like oh mom has cheese for me so that's going to be much more fun good sit good sit good sit good sit good girl let's walk around again how good you are yes yes good girl good girl good sit good girl so now she wants to work for me because she's learning she gets paid when she does cool things. So that's how I start my leash training. Easy, just really relaxed, really fun in my backyard. So it's not scary. There's nothing scary making them want to run away um, and be and, and attribute the leash with something scary. I start where things are easy. So I do this uh, to help them get a good start on life make sure that they have a good foundation um, again have fun with your training use lots of treats make it fun and successful if you find that you're hitting roadblocks stop reassess what you're doing and see how you can set it up for them to be more successful um, as always uh, have a good time training check out tagline goods uh, as that's we're powered by tagline goods this is one of our t-shirts totally believe life is better with the burner and uh, if you do too please help support us by uh, going to our shop and taking a look around at all of our cool shirts and uh, and unique goods so happy training enjoy your puppy and make things fun for them right Franzi?